Today I'm going to be building a monitor stand for my brother's desk. I'm Josh with Hardcastle Woodworking, and this is Rookie DIY. For things like this, I like to get the general shape I want in Adobe Illustrator, then mock it up in SketchUp so I can get a good idea of what the final product will look like in a 3D space. You can make this as a basic rectangle shape, but I wanted to give it more of a geometric shape with curves. So all I'm doing here is measuring the outer dimensions and drawing the shape on a scrap piece of plywood. The overall dimensions are 20 inches wide by 10 inches deep by about 4 and a quarter inches tall. After it's drawn out, I take it to the table saw to cut the outer rectangle shape. Next I go to the bandsaw and cut just outside the lines to give it the nice geometric shape I'm going for. Then I take it to the belt sander and sand down to the lines that I've drawn. My brother uses a curved monitor, so I thought it would look cool to have a curved front edge to mimic the curve of the monitor. Here I'm just cutting out a strip of 8th inch hardboard and put a nail half inch from the center of the front and back edge to make the curve that I wanted. After the curve's drawn, I went back to the bandsaw to cut just outside the line, being sure to cut off the nail hole. And moved back to the belt sander to clean up the curve. The legs are going to be about eight and a quarter inches long by three and a half inches tall, so I set up a stop block on my crosscut sled to cut the length and move my fence over to give me the height. I wanted the legs to be inset three quarters of an inch from the side and match the side angle of the stand. So I used a scrap piece of plywood to get the spacing just right. I traced the leg on the underside of the base so I knew where to put the screws. I drilled through the top of the stand and put the screws in just far enough to poke through the back so it would mark where the legs would need to be drilled. I screwed it all together to make sure everything looked right and took it apart, being sure to mark the front of the legs and which leg was left and right. I used a Forstner bit to drill a recess so I can hide the screws with wooden plugs.
I then used a plug cutting drill bit to cut plugs out of a scrap piece of pine I had lying around. Before assembling everything, I decided to put a chamfer around the top edge to add to the geometric look. After that, I hand sanded the edges so the chamfer didn't end up being rounded over and sanded everything else to 180 grit. I glued and screwed the legs on. Then glued the plugs in place, being sure to wipe away the glue squeeze out. I used a flush trim saw to cut the plugs. I like to use tape to prevent the saw from scuffing the wood around the plugs. I gave it another quick sanding to make sure the plugs were flush and moved on to paint. I've included a PDF with the shape of the stand. If you plan on building this yourself, be sure to measure the legs or the base of your monitor to make sure it works with these dimensions. I also encourage you to make it your own. Maybe this shape doesn't work for your space, but hopefully this helps out if you plan on building one yourself. A huge shout out to my brother Dylan who filmed and edited this video. Also check out his YouTube channel, the link is in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of video with the moving camera and maybe we can convince Dylan to shoot some more. Also subscribe and let me know if you like the video or if you have any questions and I'll try to answer everything I can. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.